Hey, Liz, how are you doing this morning? Oh, great. Thank you. We're here with another crypto probe. So we're going to do some low cap coins. I've just been collecting and collecting and collecting new projects that are out that are, uh, you know, have a, have a huge potential to grow. So I just want to go over first what we're doing for our listeners here uh, in the public and private parts of our group. So my particular, one of my goals is to find projects really early in this cycle and they're going to give us the best opportunity to hit those 20 x's 50 x's 100 x's and we have to look at new coins that come out new technologies because the older stuff is is good some of it's going to do well like as crypto pumps everything's going to kind of pump together right but the stuff that's brand new historically has always done the best it always outperforms the market so it's like a needle in a haystack going through all these coins. If it was just, you know, me by myself, I would have my research. But thankfully, we have Liz with us and we can add an extra filter to the research that I'm already doing. And there's different ways that I've come up to find these new projects. One would be the airdrops, right? Because they're all new coins that are coming out. Another would be the launch pads, the, the initial coin offerings where you can get a presale. We've, do, we've just done a video on that. And then our other series is kind of the uh, the low cap um, crypto gems, where I'm viewing these new projects that are already out that you can already buy, and they're 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 valued very low right now, and they have a lot of room to grow. And so that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be doing another low cap crypto gem video. Uh, we've done a few of these already. So. Without further ado, we're going to do a few here for the public, and then we're going to switch it over to our private group where we're going to do the rest of them over a few videos. So let's get started, Liz. The first project we have here is called Code X Chain. Um, can we grab Code X Chain? We're going to compare it to Matic in the last bull run of 2021. How well? does this coin do over the next couple of years on a scale of one to 10? It's about a five. Okay. All right. Moving on to the next coin, we have graph link, graph link chain. Can we grab graph link chain and ask, on a scale of one to 10, how well does it do over the next coming years compared to Matic in the last bull run? This is low. This is like two. Okay. Yep. That's good. We need to weed out the, uh, the ones that are not going to do well. Next one we have is called Solarium. So I think it's spelled like S O L A E R U M. Solarium, which is my computer is slow right now. Bringing it up. Maybe my internet is slow. Do, 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 do. I'm not sure why it's taking so long here. There we go. Solarium. Can you see that on my screen? I can. Can we, can we grab it and ask how well it does on a scale of 1 to 10 compared to Matic in the last bull run of 2021 going forward over the next couple of years? Uh, so that one going forward on a scale of 1 to 10 compared to Matic in the last bull, bull run. Okay, that has better energy. Um, and what is it compared to Matic? Now that one is probably about a 6. Okay. All right. Moving on to the next one. This is the last one we're going to do for our public. This one is called Atlas Navi. I'm again waiting for this to pop. I don't know why my computer's so slow today. Uh, usually have these ready to go, but it eats up so much memory when I open like 50 tabs. So no, trying. I'm... All right. Here we go. Atlas Navi. Can we grab Atlas Navi and ask how well it does over the next couple of years compared to Matic in the year of 2021 on a scale of one to 10? Yeah. 
This isn't scoring high. This is like a three or a four. Okay. All right. Well, I have a list of probably at least 20 or 30 coins that we're going to be doing over the next couple of videos on this series. And a lot of them are going to be behind the, the paywall on Patreon. And I just want to let people know also, I'm also going to, I'm also personally building a portfolio based on the higher scoring coins that we've gotten over all the videos we've done. And so I'm going to be at some point transferring my notes over to the discord for our private members. So they can kind of see that all in one place. Um, I take my notes with a pen and pencil old school. So I have to actually kind of transfer that over into a spreadsheet, but that's a, a bit of an incentive for people to be a member because I'm going to be listing that in an easy to find place and then updating that every so often. So how can they join us on the other side, Liz? Patreon.com forward slash remote viewing and beyond. It will be in the comments along with your tip jar and your contact details. Yeah, if you guys want to reach out to me for a consult, if you want to build a portfolio, if you're new to crypto, you need some basic information, which I highly recommend to keep you safe over the course of the next bull run, you can find me at Digital Freedom Tactics at ProtonMail.com. Excellent. Thank All you right, so much. See you, you on the flip side.